Hi, I'm Yasmin Rashid from Econites. Now you may have read from the news or seen some pictures of how certain parties have claimed that the environment has gotten a lot better due to COVID-19. Pictures of cleaner rivers, bluer sky, cleaner air have surfaced and there were even some publications that actually documented wildlife coming back into areas that were previously dominated by human beings. Well, what you are seeing right now is the impact of immediately stopping millions and millions of human beings, you and I, from delivering our daily activities. On a daily basis, millions of us drive to the city centre for work and many of us um, take either public transportation or drive our own cars. Now, imagine taking millions of people away from work means that millions of us are probably not burning fossil fuel through our vehicles and therefore not emitting any carbon into the air. So you can imagine if millions of Malaysians have stopped driving to the city centre for work and subsequently have stopped burning a lot of fossil fuel, you will undoubtedly start clearing up the air a little bit more, especially in the mornings, to produce bluer skies. As for rivers in Kuala Lumpur, if you are aware and familiar with it, rivers in KL meander through a lot of human activities. And if you notice, along the uh, river corridors of rivers, you often see a lot of food stalls that are parked along it. And many of us also have probably eaten once or twice in such these food stalls. Now, if these food stalls happen to be illegal, very likely that they are throwing or discarding their food waste with the curries, tom yum, rice into drains which eventually flow to bigger drains and eventually to the rivers. Now when you start throwing a lot of food waste or organic food waste into rivers, it ends up contaminating the river, sucks up a lot of oxygen from the water, also ends up making the water a little bit murky and probably a bit smellier so the stench can be unbearable on a typical day. Now with COVID-19, it has actually reduced a lot of businesses and human activities and as a result, you would see an immediate reduction in the amount of organic waste that is thrown into our Malaysian rivers. Therefore, reducing the impact of what organic waste would have on our rivers, making them clearer, cleaner and potentially less smelly over time. Um, many media or news pieces I have read cite that rivers are clearer. I think it's two reasons why it's clearer. One is if you understand the Klang River Basin, there's a lot of construction happening as well. Construction has stopped for about a month and a lot of the silt and sediment has stopped flowing to our rivers. So you see a significant reduction of the Te Tarik colonists in the rivers. Number two, with less uh, illegal food stalls opening now, there's also less discharge of organic or food waste into the rivers. So you have a significant reduction in the stench or smell of the rivers. It's important to remember that COVID has struck us for about close to five, six weeks. And the impact that we're seeing on the environment, while it's positive and good, is also short term. My concern is what happens after the MCO is lifted and we go back to life as usual, which means we may be putting back more stress on the air as well as our rivers. The COVID-19 pandemic is really a great opportunity for us to reflect on how human activities can cause such a massive impact on the environment. If you're not a believer of climate change, now it is the time to be one. As you can see, once you take human activities away or reduce it, you actually have a significant impact on the environment. Now, if you want to enjoy the blue skies and the clean rivers for a longer time, it is time to reflect back on what we should be doing or what we should be pressing local authorities, governments, the people we elect to start thinking about if we want to maintain the environment the way it is. Several things have to change. The way we use fossil fuel, the way we consume our food, the way we um, frequent places that are uh, located along rivers and fourthly in terms of looking at how we ourselves as human beings pivot our habit to be towards something that is more sustainable so there you go 
While the COVID-19 pandemic has caused some temporary improvement to our daily environment, I think the biggest challenge I'd like to throw to you to start thinking is, what do you need to do to maintain what you're seeing out there today? If you like to see and sustain cleaner air, bluer skies and cleaner rivers, it's time to think about our daily actions and how we can collectively make more positive impacts by changing a little bit about how we run our daily lives and how we behave.